Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh First tutorial in 2010 Right uh, In this tutorial I'll show you how to recover Reset Windows password If you have lost the password, if you have forgotten the password We're gonna reset the password I think there is an option to even recover the password We'll see that later on I had already done this video before Because of a copyright claim I had to remove it And I'm redoing this now With me commenting on the video anyways uh, here as you can see this is the login screen Windows 7 I've forgotten the password yeah forgotten the password oops the username or password is incorrect so we're gonna reset the password uh, the first step is please do check my description box right to your to your left or right I don't know okay just check the description box you will find a link download the zip file there's a link to a zip file download it extract it you'll find an ISO file and burn it to a CD I hope you know to do that so after doing that insert it to your CD ROM or DVD ROM right and then restart the machine restart the computer or laptop and choose the boot menu by pressing either F5 F9 F10 F12 depending on your motherboard or laptop you can check your manual right and once you get the boot menu choose the CD or the DVD ROM right CD slash DVD ROM and not the hard disk CD slash DVD ROM and boot the CD or the DVD ROM so let me do that okay I'll restart the computer it's shutting down and it will get this menu that I'll show you yeah I got this oh, oops. just hold on yeah I hope you can read this right this will this is the menu that you'll get once you boot uh, just press enter so after that you'll get some uh, okay you'll get this uh, step one select disk where the Windows installation is so you have to select that if you have if you have like multiple hard drives and if you have installed Windows on not the first disk but the second disk then you have to choose the second disk right now I have only one hard drive and I've got two partitions the first partition says uh, the first partition is around 100 MB the second partition is around 10 GB and I have probably installed Windows 7 on the second partition not the first partition so it depend de depending on the way you have installed the operating system you have to choose your the partition where you have installed the operating system and you have to know where you have installed it I've installed it to, on the second partition maybe you have installed it on the first partition itself so you have to choose one if it is the first partition because I have installed on the second partition I will be using I'll be pressing 2 so yes two okay success now the step two select path and registry files I haven't installed on the other or what do you say a new directory I have installed on the default directories directory itself so I'll be just pressing enter if you did a default installation just press enter this is the step two just press enter okay after that step two uh, it is asking me select which part of the registry to load use predefined choices one password reset okay or list the file switch space as D limiter I would recommend you to just press one just press the default number one and press enter fine and now we are in the CHN TPW main interactive menu over here if you are following me so here I've got like multiple options one edit user data and passwords two syskey status and changes three recovery console settings nine registry editor Q quit to get it so I'll be choosing the first option right one because I want to edit user data and passwords press one again all right um, so now I got over here there are like RID you've got some hexadecimal number username admin or not or whether it is locked so administrator it is locked 
and my username n3hd it's locked so either you can type this hexadecimal like either you can type this 0x rid number 0x 03ed or you can type the username i think it will be better if you type the username so just type n3hd i mean i have i am typing n3hd because that's my username enter now i get this all right user is a member of uh, one group that is administrator user edit menu first it is telling me giving me five options over here one clear user password blanket two edit set new user password okay third one promote user anyways i'll be choosing the first option clear user password so i have to choose one and press enter so it says password has been cleared select now if you want to choose another user okay, if you have like multiple users not just one maybe one two three four five now you can choose the other user administrator for example or maybe the third user anyways I'm done with this so I'll be selecting quit I'll be pressing exclamation mark so that will quit this uh, process alright press enter after the exclamation mark you have to press enter now it is telling uh, taking me back to the old menu as I've done with clearing the password I'll be choosing pressing Q to quit this process Q again press enter now the step for this is very important um, it says writing back changes about to write files back do it or no the default option is no so don't press enter you have to press Y first because we want to write the changes press y okay small y not the uh, caps so just press y press enter so now I get about to write writing Sam so I did complete alright we have done it now let's try to boot the hard drive I'll just restart the machine okay I'll just go back um, where is the button yep I'll just restart the machine and I will choose the hard drive as the primary alright I'm here so after that you have to choose your hard drive as the main boot device or you know just remove it I hope as you can see over here it didn't ask me for the password that's it I hope you get it if you have if you face any problem let me know I've cleared the password it's as simple as that and thank you for watching my video and do check my other videos Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh by the way I was using Linux to crack Windows password